So here we are with my Jeep. We are outside in my neighborhood. It's a pretty busy neighborhood. So you're probably gonna hear cars, kids, possibly dogs. Who knows? We're in the real world. <laughs> the first thing that we want to do before we apply our decal is to clean. And now I've already washed my Jeep, but now I'm gonna go over it again with some alcohol and water, some isopropyl alcohol and water. So I've got about 50% isopropyl alcohol and water and we're just going to spray it on where the decal is going to go and then wipe it really good. We're going to be using the hinge method to apply our decal so I'm just going to get some strips of tape ready to use. Now we're going to grab our large decal and we're going to place it where we want it on the side of our vehicle. Now remember this hole, that's for that hinge. Now this looks really good. I like its placement. So I'm going to create that hinge. I need a little bit more tape down here. Now what we're going to do is remove that backing paper to the hinge and we're going to keep all of our supplies next to us, our scissors and our soapy water because we're going to be applying this decal wet. So I'm going to come over here to this end and peel it back and I'm going to go nice and slow. Remember there is no hurry. The slower we go the better the results will be. We're just going to pull that back all the way to our hinge. Now, I don't want it to stick to itself. So to keep it out of the way, I'm going to hold it up a little bit and just kind of stick that transfer tape to my car. And I'm going to grab my scissors and I'm going to cut this off. Now I've got a spray bottle of soapy water. It's mostly water with just a squirt of dish soap and any, any dish soap will work. And we're gonna spray the vehicle. And we're also going to spray the decal. I'm going to grab my scraper tool and now we're just going to slowly apply the decal just a little bit at a time. Pushing that water out from behind the decal as we're putting it on our vehicle. And that's how we're going to get a nice bubble free application. And you also want to make sure that you're only scraping where you have the transfer tape because you don't want to scratch your vehicle while you're trying to put on the decal. Okay, this side of the decal looks great. 
So now we're going to move to the other side and do the same thing. I'm going to move my tape just to make sure that this doesn't move. It should be pretty good stuck, but since we're using the wet apply method, it can move. So again, we're going to peel from this back side. And I'm going to take my soapy water and then again to my decal and we're going to do the same thing. Got my scraper here. We're just gonna let's see how this stay. Go nice and slow. No hurry. That's falling, that's okay. Now our decal is on, but we can't remove the transfer tape yet. We want to make sure it's good and dry. So I'm gonna go grab my heat gun to help move it along. I've got my heat gun here, and what I'm going to do is apply heat over the decal as I still squeegee out the water to help it dry and make sure it is good and stuck. Now I'm gonna start taking off that transfer tape. Again, I'm gonna go super slow and I'm even gonna cut off pieces, smaller pieces at a time, so I can make sure that I'm getting all of the air, all of the air bubbles and all of the liquid out from behind our decal. So as I was peeling, I actually nicked and even tore my decal just a little bit right there. And it's a big enough hole that I want to fix it because then other, if I don't, when I wash it and stuff, that can snag and rip off the rest of my vinyl. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my knife here and I want to cut that off, but I don't want to cut my vehicle or scratch my vehicle. So I'm just going to lightly lift it my finger neat under there and I'm gonna cut out that part that got all chunky. Did I get it? Nope, I didn't get it. And I want to make that as smooth as possible. 
then what I'm gonna do is over here on the end, I've got some extra that I'm gonna be cutting off. So I'm just gonna cut off a piece of that. And I'm gonna cut myself just like a little patch. Now this isn't ideal, but this is better than cutting a whole new decal for one tiny little spot. So let's see, we're gonna go back up there. So you can see it. And then all I'm gonna do is apply that over the spot. And let's see, how can I make it as seamless as possible? There, and now we have a little patch that you won't even really be able to notice. Now we're gonna go around the creases of the door, like where the door opens, and we're gonna cut that and then tuck those edges inside. Then we can open the door and push those down from there. We did it, you guys, and I think it looks awesome. What do you think? Is this something that you could do? I think you could do it. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me today. While you're here, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming tutorials. And of course, you can always find me at my home base at thecraftyblogstalker.com. Thanks everyone. Bye and happy crafting.